You've probably heard the numbers. Autism diagnoses have jumped nearly 300%. Yes, so in 2000, about one in 150 children were diagnosed with autism. By 2022, that number jumped to one in 31 children aged eight. So from one in 150 children to one in 31 children, that's a big change. Does that, does that mean there's now an autism epidemic? I wouldn't call it an epidemic. An epidemic means a sudden surge of new cases. While this does seem scary, what we're actually seeing is a gradual rise in diagnoses over decades as we get better at recognizing and identifying signs and symptoms of autism. How has this happened? First, clinicians are getting better at spotting symptoms of autism. 20 years ago, the term autistic was only used for what we now consider more severe cases. Today, we recognize that autism is a spectrum, meaning it can range from a total lack of speech to something more subtle like quirks and how a child acts around their schoolmates. Mm -hmm. Second, we're now including children who weren't regularly diagnosed before. For example, girls with autism don't act exactly like boys with autism, so many were never diagnosed. Third, doctors, parents, and teachers are more aware. Pediatric clinicians screen for autism at regular checkups. Um, parents know the early signs. Teachers are trained to spot differences. When everyone's looking, we find more kids who need help. Why is it important to include more children in the autism diagnosis? Well, children with autism and their families cannot access services without an official diagnosis. And the earlier they get care, the better they can reach their full potential. While mild cases generally do not need around-the-clock care, getting an autism diagnosis means these children can get therapies if needed to help them be more successful at school and their communities, as well as support their parents and families. How do we know that the increase is due to broader diagnosis rather than something else? Researchers looked specifically at kids with profound autism, those who need around-the-clock care. Those numbers have not changed much over the past 10 years. What has increased are the children with milder traits who are being diagnosed more often. That tells us we're getting better at finding kids we previously missed. 